welcome to my youtube channel for all those who are new please subscribe and like have you ever wondered why the arab women cover themselves or veil themselves when they're going to the supermarket when they're going to the beach when they're going doing some shopping going for prayers have you ever wondered why they do that today i'm here to talk about why arab women cover themselves or veil themselves give you the different reasons why they do that because it's a must for them in their culture so let's meet in the next video why do arab women wear the veil veil is a black cloth worn by most arab or muslim when in the islamic countries the veil or veiling was introduced by prophet muhammad in the ancient days his influence on the islam belief increased he entertained more and more visitors in the mosque which was then his home Often these visitors stayed the right feet away from his wives' apartments, so it's a commonly understood that his verse was intended to protect his wives from these strangers, so that's how veiling started in Muslims and spread around the world in all Muslims' communities. So in the Quran or any Islamic books it's a must for every woman to veil it's a must rule through some communities still ignore it. Why do Arab women or Muslim women wear the veil? 1. It creates dignity, respect and honor to the women or Muslim women who wear it. 2. The veiling acts as a vehicle for distinguishing between women and men as a means of controlling male sexual desires. 3. Veiling or wearing the aboya helps women to maintain modesty and privacy from unrelated males. 4. Veiling or wearing the aboya in Arab women's shows that a woman is silently announcing that her husband is rich enough to keep her idol must rules of veiling one clothing must cover the entire body only the hands and face eyes may remain visible Two, the material must be so thick that no one can see through it three the clothing must be loose so that the shape form of body is not seen Four, the female clothing must resemble the man's clothing five the design of the clothing must not resemble the clothing of the non-believing woman 6. The design must not consist of bold designs which attract attention. 7. Clothing should not be worn for the sole purpose of gaining reputation or increasing one's status in society. So Arab women or Muslim women it's a must to cover everything apart from the face, eyes, and hands, and feet when in the presence of men they are not related or married to, but in some communities some Muslims women it's a choice to cover up. Components of the Veil 1. The hijab. It typically a scarf that covers the hair and neck. 2. The nightcap. Is a veil for the face that leaves the area around the eyes clear. It's worn with an accompanying headscarf or a bia. A full-length robe and sometimes with a separate transparent eye veil. 3. The borka. The most concealing, covering the entire face and body, leaving just a mesh screen to see through. So oh, an abaya is a must for every Muslim woman, yeah, in all the communities.